Let's revise the question on expansion and factorization. This is a very important topic right, because many of the algebraic expressions has to be simplified using either expansion or factorization. Alright, for part A, given that x squared plus y squared goes to 25 and xy goes to 12, find the value of x plus y bracket squared. Okay, so we have to make use of these two information to find a value of this. Alright, to do that, you need to expand out this bracket over here. Okay, so as you can recall, there's a formula for expanding this. Alright, it's basically just x squared plus 2xy plus y squared. Can you recall? Alright, so if this is a plus, then this will be a plus. If this is a minus, then this will be a minus. Alright, and this will forever be a plus. Okay, then the next thing is to regroup them. Alright, let's put the x squared plus y squared together and the 2xy behind. The reason why you want to put these two terms together is because we want to make use of this information. Right, the question says that x squared plus y squared is 25. So this whole thing will be equals to 25 plus 2 times of xy. Right, xy is 12, so you can sub inside. Okay, so 25 plus 2 times of 12 is just 25 plus 24. And the answer is 49. And for part B, we need to factorize completely 4x to the power of 4 minus ax squared minus 32. Okay, so first of all, can you notice a common factor among the three terms? The answer is 4. Alright, so let's take out a 4. Okay, you'll be left with uh, x to the power of 4 minus 2x squared minus 8. Can you understand? Alright, we simply take out a factor of 4. Okay, and now you can actually factorize this in a quadratic way. Okay, so we can, when you break out the x to the power of 4, you get x squared times x squared. And negative 8 is the same as a negative 4 times positive 2. And you double check your, your factorization. You take this times this plus this times this. Okay, so minus 4 times x squared is a minus 4x squared plus 2x squared. You have to get back negative 2x squared. Can you recall? Alright, so this is how you double check your quadratic factorization. And now, do you stop here? No, you can't, okay, because this thing can be factorized further using our special formula, right, which is uh, x minus 2 times x plus 2. Alright, and since uh, you can't factorize uh, this expression anymore further, so this will be our final answer.